everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made these tiny little flowers. These are so cute and um, they're about four inches or three and a half inches wide. I originally was asked whether I could make corsage size roses and um, I had never made anything that small with the particular template. They asked if um, I could make corsage size flowers with template 13 which is this flower. And I have a small flower that I made out of um, the rose template that I had. And that one's actually kind of a mess to put together because there's all these little pieces. But I brainstormed a little bit and I came up with these flowers. And I think they're so adorable. If you're thinking of um, corsage size flowers, I think it works perfectly on the wrist. It's, it's a little big, but it fits nicely. I think these have a lot of application. You can use them as a brooch to pin onto somebody's piece of clothing. You can have a ribbon attached to it or even uh, perhaps a leaf with maybe um, if it's a bridal shower, you could put mother or the bride or anything to mark who the person is next to, I mean on the leaf. You can also use it on top of presents or um, in front of place settings on a menu or even just as a seating chart to mark where they're sitting at. These were really cute to use for a number of applications and um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. So again I did use template 13 and so you can see that this is a quite a huge uh, petal and I didn't want to cut out tiny little petals to um, cut little slits and then glue together around some sort of base. So I came up with this shape, it's about six pieces, and it, put, it is made um, fairly easy, and I'll show you how I do it. So I have six pieces from small, uh, smallest to largest, and all that I need to do, um, I also have a piece of scrap paper that I would like to use for the center, I'm going to set this here. So I have a smaller bone folder. I got this one at the local craft store. Um, I think this one is at Joann's and is a Fiskars brand. It's smaller than my normal bone folder, but it works great for these little flowers. But all I do is just curl the sides of the petals. The one great thing I like about these flowers is that I do not have to cut a slit into the middle of the petal and then glue them together. That's something I've done for most of the flowers on my um, channel. You'll see that that's the process for most of the flowers. And you'll see that all I need to do is overlay them. So I'll leave that there for now. But once these are cut out, it's just a matter of curling the petals. If you don't have a bone folder, this is where I think a glue stick. So a glue stick would work well. I just, for whatever reason, I don't like the method of rolling it, but it works really well in this case. I tend to not like it with my larger petals, but you could just roll it around a pencil or a mini glue stick to get the same effect. So we have four down just two more to go and these are quite easy and uh, quite easy to make and also make very quickly so you can knock a bunch of these out if you are planning to use a lot of them One last petal. So essentially it's just these two layers together along with these two with these two and then you glue them on top of one another. So I'll go ahead and do that. i add a little bit of glue and then lay that right on top. And I'll do that for these as well.
as these are drying, what I like to do is I like to bend the petals just a little, so up and down just to get them sort of loose a little. So this is the largest petals and they will be on the bottom layer. I want to squish them up just a little. I can see that I can probably build another flower from here if I just glue them all together, but what I want to do is have all the petals sit up. And then I want to do the same for this. I want all the petals to sit up, right? So I'll bend them towards the middle and give it a crease. And you can see if I layer the petals, so if I layer this, sorry, if I take this layer of petals and put it right in between these petals here or this layer, it gives it a nice look. So I'll just add a little bit of glue to the bottom. And then I want to carefully make sure that it goes in between. You could just as easily layer it right on top of one another, but I don't particularly like that look. It just looks like there's petals behind it that are a little bit larger, which essentially it is, but I want the flowers just to be, I want them to look like this rather than the other option. And so I'll glue the last layer. Glue that in between the layer underneath. You can see I didn't have to do very much um, to the petals except curl the leaves and then glue the layers together. And that's what I love most about it. It's super easy. And the last thing I want to do is this is a scrap piece of paper. I, keep, I usually have a scrap box. I can, if it's perhaps more than a two inch square, I usually save. Um, the piece of a piece of paper just I don't I just find it wasteful so I fished this piece out of my box and what I want to do is just make a slight fringe and you want to be careful here I think this is way more strenuous than making the actual flower because I have a tendency to be very impatient with scissors when it comes to making a fringe and sometimes I'll just apply too much force and just cut the whole piece off. So I do not want to do that right now. But you just need a little strip, especially because this flower is so tiny. And it doesn't need to be perfect. So maybe I'll go for about a two and a half inch strip. Maybe longer so it's fuller. You can see I'm already getting impatient because these are strips here are thinner than here, but that's okay. I'm gonna slow down. I think that's long enough, so I'm gonna cut that piece off. I do not need it. And essentially, you just need to glue this together. I'm gonna loosen up just a little so I can roll it easier. glue to start. Hopefully it doesn't ooze out too much. And just roll it. And then one tiny bit of glue at the end. Ouch. And um, once that's dry, what I do is just, I just hold it and then fluff it up a little. There are many different ways to do this. I just wanted to be consistent with those. You could have cut um, the other side so that it had loops rather than just these strips sticking up. 
but I just want to add glue to the bottom so that I can glue the center to the middle. Um, the person who approached me about making this corsage flower um, asked me whether something in the middle could be placed there, like a label. So you don't have to put a center in there. You could put um, some label, anything you want. You can also use some sort of jewel in the middle, or you can play around, around with different flower centers. But essentially, that's how easy it can be made. You can add a little flower at the bottom. So maybe I'll do that. just want it to stick out just a tiny little bit. And one thing you can do to make it um, a brooch is you can use these bar pins. And so um, I'll show you the box. These are the bar pins. They can be found in the jewelry section of your craft store. Um, I will leave a link below for uh, were, um, an example so that you can search for it yourself. But this is um, a one inch bar pin. And all you need to do is just glue it to the bottom. So let me do that. I would tip, I didn't anticipate that I would actually put that um, leaf there, but I'm gonna go ahead and just glue it. Because um, this, one won't, this one will probably be for me. You can put down some glue and then the bar pin and just let the glue set. And the bar pin works kind of like a safety pin. So you can, let me get another one to show you. So this is what the um, bar pin looks like. It's kind of like a safety pin with the bar on the bottom so that you can glue it to something. But the, this, one, this one in particular has um, a piece that you can slide all the way to the end of the other side and then you can take out the pin. Right, so it looks like a safety pin. Uh, let me see if this is better to see. So it works like a safety pin. You can pin it back in and then turn that over, the little piece over, and then it can stay on to whatever you're pinning it to, whether it's a hat, a piece of clothing. But the glue has set, so you can essentially just use this as a brooch. You can pin it on to something. I loved it in this little pink color, but I'm looking to make maybe other different styles of this flower, or I mean, sorry, this size, so that um, there are options, but I think this is so cute. Um, thank you so much.